Can you believe it? Just say one sentence to your phone. I want to eat the cheapest KFC on the entire internet, and it will automatically open Meituan, Taobao, and JD.com in the background. Search, compare prices, and directly place an order for you. You don't need to touch anything the entire time. This is no longer science fiction, but rather ByteDance's just released Dubao Mobile Assistant, a formidable player that may completely change the way we use our phones. On December 1st, ByteDance released the preview version of Dubao Mobile Assistant, triggering widespread heated discussion. So what exactly is Dubao Mobile Assistant? This is not like those somewhat dumb voice assistants currently on your phone. According to reports, it's directly installed at the bottom layer of the phone's operating system and even has a dedicated physical button that you can press anytime to summon it. Its most impressive feature is that it can operate the phone like a human. The professional term is agent. Simply put, it's like stuffing a virtual little person into your phone who can understand human language and also do work on their own. For example, if you want to hunt for deals and order takeout, previously you had to open several APPs one by one yourself, search, compare prices, until your fingers would get tired from tapping. Now, you just need to tell Dubao directly. According to actual testing, you can give a very complex instruction like this. Compare KFC on JD.com, Meituan, and Taobao. Use whichever is cheaper to place the order, deliver to my company, note to leave at the front desk, after placing the order, send the screenshot to Xiaoming. You see, after it receives the instruction, it will open the APPs one by one in the background by itself. Search, note prices, compare prices, then select the platform with the lowest price. After you confirm, it can continue to help you place the order, fill in notes, take screenshots, open WeChat, and send to the designated person. Throughout the entire process, except for the final payment which requires your personal confirmation, it handles everything else. Similarly, if you ask it to extract several travel guides from Sao Hongshu, then organize them into a weekend outing plan and send it to friends, it can also handle it clearly for you. It will browse Sao Hongshu like a real person, checks the highly liked posts, scrolls through pictures and text, finally organize them into a document, open WeChat, and send them out. What's even more amazing is that it has screen perception capability. For example, when you are chatting with a friend on WeChat and the friend sends a message saying, I'm so annoyed today, and you don't know how to respond, just press Dobao's dedicated button and it can understand the chat context and automatically generate a comforting sentence that you can send out with one tap. Isn't that kind of thoughtful? But where's the most terrifying part of this thing? It might make all APP giants lose sleep. Think about it. ByteDance's Dobao uses a simulated human operation mode. It directly obtains the highest authority at the operating system level. This means it doesn't need Meituan or Taobao to open any interfaces for it at all. It directly operates these APPs like an ordinary user. Just like that, all super APPs have actually been downgraded and reduced to individual underlying tools called upon by Dobao. The two giants who just finished fighting the food delivery war now turn around and find out their turf might be stolen by ByteDance. Once users get used to solving everything by just talking, who would still want to open those layer upon layer APPs full of advertising pop-ups? By that time, the traffic entrances and user stickiness that these APPs painstakingly built might instantly lose their value. This is simply digging at the roots of the entire internet application ecosystem. Moreover, it's not just software that will suffer. A large batch of smart hardware startups might also be wiped out. Let's take voice recorders, for example. Currently, there are many recording devices on the market that emphasize meeting minutes and AI summaries, and they sell quite well. But think about it. The phone is our most close-to-body device. When its built-in recording function can perfectly achieve recording, transcription, and summarization, and the operation is extremely convenient and discreet, who would buy an extra device? Similarly, those so-called AI cameras probably won't last long either when facing phones that can access the system photo album and possess powerful cloud-based AI editing capabilities. Of course, this Dobao mobile assistant is currently still a preview version loaded on a ZTE engineering prototype costing 3,499 yuan. According to actual testing, its speed in completing complex tasks is still a bit slow. For example, comparing prices might take nearly two minutes, even slower than manual operation. 
but just like when robot vacuums were in the beginning. They definitely couldn't clean as fast as humans, nor as thoroughly as humans. The key point is that it has the hope of liberating people from tedious operations. ByteDance is also very smart this time. They didn't make their own phone. Instead, they followed Huawei's model of collaborating with car companies and partnered with phone manufacturers, then provided the strongest AI brain themselves. A super hardware device that has been dormant for a long time, but that none of us can do without, the phone, has finally welcomed a true catfish. Although the blood battle mentioned earlier may not happen immediately, the gaming between various parties' interests will be very complex. But a brand new possibility has already been placed before us. A revolution in phone interaction may truly be coming. So, regarding this matter, what do you think? If your phone also had this capability, what would be the first thing you'd want it to help you do? Share your thoughts in the comment section.